talking about scouting is something that there's a lot of different theories from a lot of different people on. I'm a boots on the ground believer in scouting. I like to be out in the field studying different things and I study them 12 months out of the year. I might be dove hunting in September, I might be turkey hunting in April, I might be driving around just kind of building food plots and all of that kind of keeps me in the mind of deer hunting 12 months out of the year. Several of the things to keep in mind in there is scouting in the season is different than scouting in the summer. In the summertime, there's a lot of great farming fields where deer in big bachelor groups are in velvet they come out late in the evening into these big fields to feed. Guys will sit off in the distance with, you know, big spotting scopes and glass them. I mean, one of the best deer I've ever shot in Kentucky, my good friend George Cummings, had been watching this deer come out of a big thicket, come out of a bedding area, work its way down into an area. Uh, this is a big old buck in velvet, crossed a lot of soybeans, got him into bow range right at last light, and I was able to knock him down. They had been scouting the deer in that field and the patterns that they were taking and the paths that they were moving on for a month in the summer. That's a great way to do it. Conversely, once the season gets going and you start thinking about where the deer are bedding and where they're going, you gotta kind of adapt your strategies a little bit. There are other hunters now that are probably aware of the deer that you're hunting and you wanna put yourself in a situation or in a mindset that I believe that deer is bedding right here. I don't wanna go in there. So what you gotta do is figure out how that deer is getting from that bedding area, where the pinch point is, where the crossings are, where is he watering, where is he feeding, where are the does that he's gonna be tending to. And so those are the hot locations that you wanna start thinking about setting up your stand without ever going in there and bumping him. You know where he is now, you got an idea, but you gotta find a way to hunt him on the edges so you don't bust him out of there and, and educate that deer. A Lot of things go into all that, you're gonna fail, sometimes you're also going to find success and that's part of the fun of deer hunting is trying to figure out that puzzle.